Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. We're gonna show you guys how to light up your landscape with the FX Luminaire RS Uplight. Uh, this is a super durable, really high quality LED light that's great in your landscape. If you need to, say you need to highlight some, some beautiful trees that you have on your property. If you have some nice stone architectural features around your home, this is a great, great light to use. Um, you can change the intensity of the bulb just by using a different lamp. So if you have a small tree that's only maybe 10 to 15 feet high, you can use the standard uh, 4 watt LED lamp in here. If you're using trees that are maybe 15 to 20 feet high, you can increase that to the 5 watt LED. Or if you've got some giant oak trees or some really big trees on your property where you need to push that light at 25 feet or higher, that's where you get into the uh, 6 watt LED lamps. Uh, to really push that light out and make those features really, really stand out. Um, this light can be used in a lot of different applications. We use it a lot for perimeter lighting. So if you have trees or shrubs or different bushes and stuff around your property, and you just wanna make your whole property look bigger, it's a great way to go and, and highlight those around the perimeter just to make that whole yard stand out. So there's so many great uses, uses for this video. If you wanna find out more ways that you can use this, go to our website and access our free consultation where we're gonna send you a free consultation with ideas on how you can best light your landscape. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you wanna see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's gonna look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here and today I'm going to review the RS Uplight from FX Luminaire. So if you want to get more reviews on a lot of the different products that are out there, be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, check us out on Facebook and just search Lighting Doctor for all kinds of reviews of a lot of the lights that we actually use and we recommend. So. The RS Uplight from FX Luminaire, for those of you who don't know, FX Luminaire is owned by Hunter Industries, which is one of the largest irrigation, uh, residential irrigation companies uh, on the planet. And uh, from all the companies we work with, probably one of the most trustworthy and best companies to work with too. Uh, been down to their factories many times, and it's one of the few companies nowadays that I've been to where they literally have employees that have worked there for 20, 30 years on average, which you don't see that anymore. So in my opinion, that says a lot about a company and it's a big reason why we use a lot of their stuff. It's not the only brand that we use. We have the ability to shop around and get um, basically lights from anybody we want to, but they do make a, uh, in my opinion, the best up light that's out there. Now you guys can't feel it, um, but I can feel this. And with this aluminum zinc blend that they have this is easily one of the heaviest and most durable lights uh, that you can get out there especially for the price point usually to get something like this you're paying two to three times as much um, that's why i like that so that's why we have our try it before you buy it offers uh, right on our website at lightingdoctors.ca it's one of the first things you see our try it before you buy it lights where you can actually buy just one of these at a discounted rate and go try it out it'll give you the chance to actually feel um the actual weight of this thing see how well built it is as well as it gives you the battery pack the king innovation insta light that you can actually just go plug this in and then test it out on your property but i'll show you a couple features of this light and why we like it not just the durability and everything um it's super easy to use unlike a lot of other up lights where you have you know these goofy little set screws and you need these allen keys or special little miniature screwdrivers and stuff uh, to access the bulb inside this one is really easy you basically just twist off this top ring this top top cowl which makes it super easy um, the lens in here is all silicone so it's again it's one of the most waterproof ones that we've seen you'll see this orange ring is also for waterproofing that's what kind of um, allows the the shield to sit on it very snugly and keep the water out. So we really like that. Um, the other thing I like it with our lights, they all come um, with a bulb already inside. You can change that bulb very easily. Another reason why we love it for do it yourselfers because if you haven't installed a lot of lights and maybe you're putting on some trees and you're just not sure how bright you need, well, you can go and you can mess around because if you put a light in and you find it's not bright enough, well, 
You can just pop that bulb out super easy and you can go replace it with something brighter. Same thing, if that bulb dies after a couple years, well then it's really easy to go and replace that. Um, there's a lot of really good integrated fixtures and what that means is that you either have the option to have a drop-in bulb like this or it's a built-in LED chip. Um, the LED chips are built in here, these are LED lights. Uh, but with those integrated ones is a chipboard and if you need to replace that, you can do it but it's a lot harder uh, to replace the chipboard and to find a chipboard than it is just to go and find uh, an MR16 LED lamp that fits in these. So that's why we like it. The other thing I like about it too is that unlike some other up lights, it's not um, where the actual bulb goes, it's not, um, it's not set, it's not solid in there. Uh, you have the ability to kind of play with it a little bit. Why that's good is because now it's easier and gives you more room to add different things like filters, uh, for example. You know, if you wanna add a hex baffle to that to help deflect glare, you can put that on there, throw it over the bulb, and then throw that cover back over top, and you've got lots of spring, lots of room in there. You can even throw a frosted filter along with that. For the holidays, you can throw colored filters. So there's a lot of room, and the other thing that does too is depending on the bulb that you have in there, it gets that light right to the top. So sometimes when it's recessed down there and it doesn't move, what can happen is you might put a wider angle bulb in there, but it doesn't matter if it's recessed way down there because the light's not gonna shine through the edges. So uh, that's why I like this guy uh, for sure. Um, all those little things. The other thing I like about it too, uh, the set screw on it, to adjust the angle is really easy. It's just a very simple, but it's a durable. It doesn't have any goofy setups like some of the cheaper ones do. Uh, you basically just back this off and then you can go and you can angle that however you need to. Uh, good rule of thumb though, whenever you're placing an up light, you almost always wanna angle it actually more upright than you actually think. And you'll notice that if you play around uh, as you go start installing these. Uh, another great feature is it has a 10 foot lead wire on it, a 10 foot 18 to lead wire, which a lot of lights don't, they only have three feet. Why that is um, important, again, if you're doing it yourself and you haven't put in a lot of lights, if you go and place it on your property and it's not quite where you want it, well, instead of having to go and rewire it in somewhere, all you can do is you got 10 feet in any direction that you can move that light. So it gives you a lot of design flexibility. Another reason why I really like this light. Um, pretty standard with any up light you're gonna find on the base of it is a half inch thread that's gonna go into your ground stake I'll talk about this in a second but why I mention that is because a lot of times you might want to mount these in different places um, sometimes you'll go and mount them uh, on the house in a gutter uh, down a tree anything like that um, and sometimes the accessories that come with landscape lights can be pretty expensive so if you're mounting it on a house Usually you can just go to the uh, electrical aisle or something. Most of your fittings in the electrical aisle are gonna have a half inch female thread for most lights out there. And that's where this is gonna fit in there. No problem, that's gonna screw in. Uh, so you can basically save some money by going and doing that. Same thing if you need to put it on a riser, we can definitely get you those. Um, but you can also go to Home Depot Lowe's and get something for two, three dollars as opposed to 15, 20 dollars. Uh, when they're built for the landscape lighting industry. So just something I would point out. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is the ground stake too. Uh, with FX Luminaire, I love their ground stakes for two reasons. One, uh, they're just a, you know, like a plastic ABS, but they're built by far stronger than almost any of the other ones I've seen out there other than like a metal stake. Uh, but the nice thing I like about this is it's not gonna corrode or anything like that. So that's really good. And then the other thing that's actually really key is this, um, what they call their super slaughter, or I uh, can't even remember what it's called, but uh, why that's handy is now when you're going to place in these lights, you can go and you can put this light or the stake in the ground, hammer it in there, and then you can go and put your light in. You just have to slide it in to the slot and then screw it in. Uh, when you don't have that slot there, what happens is you have to feed the wire through this little hole first and then you can't really go and hammer it in the ground because then you have a wire over top and if you hit it too hard, you're actually gonna cut that wire. So uh, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is. And again, that's why I love the FX Luminaire lights. There's a lot of cheaper versions out there, um, but for what you get and the price point, I, we've tested 
and there's not a lot of better options, but it's all those tiny little things that you, you wouldn't think of, but especially when you're installing your first lighting system, um, you won't even notice, but when you've installed 10s, 12s, uh, you know, 20, 30 different kinds of brands of lights and you notice all those subtleties, you'll see how much time it saves you. And I know that's one thing uh, that's more valuable than anything is your guys' time. And if we can show you all those little features to help you out um, and save you some time, make it easier for you, that's what we want to do. Uh, the RS Uplight from FX Luminaire, by far our favorite light. We sell thousands and thousands and installs thousands of these every year. Very, very, very few of them I ever come back. So uh, FX Luminaire, RS Uplight, go and check it out at lightingdoctor.ca. Subscribe to this channel for more reviews as we'll walk you through uh, a lot more great landscape lighting fixtures out there. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. We're gonna show you how to light up your landscape with the King Innovation Instalight. So this is a great tool that we use to go and demo different types of lights to find out what light is gonna look best where. So all it is, it's a very simple battery operated pack that just takes eight AA batteries. And then what you can do with it is you can actually go and plug in your light, whatever light it is, whether it be a path light, a wash light, a wall light, or an accent light, you can go and just plug that into your Instalight and you can go walk around your property and test out all the different areas that you're thinking of lighting and seeing which lights look best in which location and where you wanna position those lights to get the best effect that you're looking for. It's a super, super easy tool that comes in all our do-it-yourself kits as well as our try it before you buy it offers where you can go and now test out these lights, feel the quality, see how they're gonna look before you go and make any big decisions on your landscape lighting project. And if you're looking for even more help, you can go and access our free consultation series where you can actually send me pictures of your property and we're gonna go do our best to help you determine which lights to use in the best locations and where to use them. And then you can go test out those practices with the King Innovation Instalight. So go and access that at lightingdoctor.ca and I hope you guys find this tool as valuable as we do. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.